Hi, my name is Frank Chavez, lead tech here at Optex. By now you've installed your towers, so today what we'll do is take you through the alignment and programming process. The tools needed for the alignment process will be your blocking plates, which are included in the accessory box along with the towers. And also you'll need a bolt meter for the fine tuning. Start the alignment process by aligning the top set of beam heads first. To do this, place the beam blocking plate on the bottom set of beam heads. When using the sniper viewfinder, make sure to look through the correct view hole. While looking through the viewfinder, adjust the horizontal angle so that the parent detector is at the center of the sight. Do this by using a small dial directly under the beam head. Once the horizontal alignment is complete, repeat the process using the larger dial for vertical alignment. Next, use the dials to align the top and bottom heads on the transmitter to the receiver. Please note that there are no monitor jacks on the transmitter side, so align the beam heads as best as possible. Once rough alignment is complete, use a multimeter for fine tuning. Begin by placing the leads in the alignment monitor jack, located only on the receiver. Make sure to set voltmeter range 5 to 10 volts DC. Fine tune by using dials until excellent alignment voltage is achieved. Once maximum alignment voltage is complete, your voltmeter will read 2.8 to 3 volts. Anything under, please realign. Alignment process for the top photo beam head is now complete. To align bottom beam heads, please repeat the alignment process. After alignment process is complete, make sure to lock tamper button with a tamper lock plate with both transmitter and receiver. If the tamper button is not locked, the LEDs will remain on. This will cause unnecessary battery power to be consumed. ECU dashboard is a low battery module. Please verify that all dip switches are in the correct position. One and two off, three on, normal test switch on. The Innovonics EN1941 transmitter is pre-installed and will need to be programmed to an Innovonics Echo Stream receiver. In order to program the Innovonics transmitter to the Innovonics receiver, please power cycle the transmitter by removing the batteries placing them back in. Please refer to your Innovonics receiver manual for step-by-step -step programming instructions. 